Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another reaction video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and today we're gonna react to Allah found written in an Asian Bible. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Well, right now on Google. Allah. Oh. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. Many times, Muslims try to make Christians understand that Jesus Christ is not a God or a son of God but a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in whom we Muslims also believe. We Muslims give the references from the Quran and Hadith. But today, we will try to prove how Jesus Christ was indeed a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the verses of their own book, the Bible. The language in which Jesus Christ spoke was Aramaic. After the birth of Christ, Aramaic dialects were used as a literary language by Jews, Christians, and Gnostic groups. In one of the prominent seven sayings of Jesus Christ, also known as seven last words from the cross, Jesus Christ is calling out to God by the term Elohi. Most Christians don't even know that Jesus spoke Aramaic. Type in language of Jesus Christ. Do it right now on Google. So what was the language? There it pops up. Aramaic. Now the language is a Semitic language. The Semitic languages are Hebrew, Arabic, and Aramaic. Now I want you to type this in. Aramaic, word for God. And watch what pops up. Allah. Oh, Jesus Christ in his own language called God, Elah. So in Hebrew, it's Elohim or Elah. In Arabic, it's Allah. It's a word that's the same in three languages. It's not a name. Al means the. La means God. It's the same word in the language of Jesus Christ. Muslims and Christians and Jews are brothers, they're cousins. The fact that they fight each other is a disgrace. That's called ignorance. Elahi, Elahi, lima sabachtani, which means, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The Aramaic term for God appears as Elaha in Biblical Aramaic and Allaha in Syriac. These words share their origin with the Arabic and Hebrew equivalents, all stemming from the Proto-Semitic word Il. On the cross, Jesus is said to have used this word, adding the possessive suffix to express his lament. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? This phrase is transliterated in Greek as Eloi, in this translation, the phrase can be understood as the lone God. The words Elohi or Elaha or Eloi all have the same meaning, which is Allah. How is this possible? If Jesus Christ himself was God or even the son of God, and he called upon Allah while he was in desperate need, how does the statement of his justify his attribute of being the son of God? Many Christians will try to counter this by saying that the word Eloi or Elahi doesn't appear many times while the word Ab or Abba is most commonly used, which means the Father. This gives the Christians a point to prove that God was indeed the Father of Jesus. But if He really was the Father of Jesus, then why are the other biblical prophets like Adam and Israel also mentioned as the Son of God, the Son of Enosh? the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. It is because the word son of God mentioned in the Bible does not mean the real son of God. God is far too pure to have a begotten son. This term means a pious, chosen, and religious person. Similarly, the term Ab or Abba, which means the father, signifies God's role as the life giver, authority, and powerful protector often viewed as immense, omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent with infinite power and charity that goes beyond human understanding. It is not logical enough that the Son of God died on the cross for the sins of the world while God himself could not save him. But if one applies logic and says that Jesus Christ was a messenger of God, then things are more likely to be explained because, like Jesus Christ, other messengers and prophets of God also endured difficult situations. 
If Jesus Christ has nothing to do with Islam, then why did he pray like the Muslims? And why was there a need for him to pray at all if he was the son of God or God himself? And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Why did Jesus Christ say to himself that his disciples worshipped him all in vain? But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Why did both Jesus Christ and Prophet Muhammad وسلم, give similar answers when asked about the knowledge of the hour? But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. They ask you, O Prophet, regarding the hour, when will it be? Say that knowledge is only with my Lord. He alone will reveal it when the time comes. It is too tremendous for the heavens and the earth and will only take you by surprise. They ask you as if you had full knowledge of it. Say that knowledge is only with Allah, but most people do not know. Never once did Jesus Christ ask his disciples to worship him. Never once did he claim to be the son of God or even God. He was not crucified on the cross, but rather lifted in the heavens and he will return to earth as a sign of the end of times. Our intentions are not to hurt the sentiments of any religious community, but only to make them return to the straight path. We do not want our brothers to feel that immense regret when Jesus Christ himself denounces any association with them. We ask our Christian brothers and sisters to ponder upon this video with an open heart and mind. وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمَ أَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّيَ إِلَهَيْنِ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ مَا يَكُونُ لِي أَنْ أَقُولَ مَا لَيْسَ لِي بِحَقٍّ إِنْ كُنْتُ قُلْتُهُ فَقَدْ عَلِمْتَهُ تَعْلَمُ مَا فِي نَفْسِي وَلَا أعلم ما في نفسك إنك أنت علام الغيوب ما قلت لهم إلا ما أمرتني به أن اعبدوا الله ربي وربكم وكنت عليهم شهيدا ما دمت فيهم فلما توفيتني كنت أنت الرقيب عليهم وأنت على كل شيء شهيد May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all to the straight path. Ameen. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you like the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Such an informative video, or rather engaging video. So I just want to point point out on one or two things and I'll keep on reiterating about this situation here what I feel is that the whole idea of us going back and forth between these two religions Muslim and Christian these are one of the major religions that we have in the world yeah but uh, why are we so much uh, inclined to a point where we want to prove a point that our religion is the best our religion is this our religion is that other than trying to solve or figure out issues that are actually eating us up instead of just trying and putting our egos out there and trying to prove a point. So um, we might be fighting each other, but maybe we just have one common understanding. Again, yes, we can have all these debates here and there and whatnot, but the common understanding here is that we pray to one God. Do you understand? We might have different ways of praying, different ways of worshipping and all those kind of things. But our main vantage point, our own or, or our main concentration is going towards God. Do you understand? So at the end of the day, as much as we want to bash other religion or try to talk about how Muslim is bad 
or how Christianity is is what is a the Bible has been corrupted many times. It doesn't really matter that much. There are people who um, they have accepted that the Bible has been corrupted, but their belief still stands that it's it's it's, it's truly the word of God and whatnot. Most likely, you might even find them in heaven. They <laughs> understand, or maybe towards the end of judgment, you just find them heading towards heaven. And uh, you'll be together and whatnot. So what are you going to say at that particular moment? I'm just thinking. But again, I don't believe there is heaven and hell. I think it's just a state of mind. You, 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 can, you can put yourself in a, in a state of hell and again in a state of, of heaven. Again, that's really a different story to talk about. But anyway, so there was a guy who was explaining about um, like Jesus spoke Aramaic. And... Uh, that's the language of, you know, how people used to communicate back in those days. Maybe where, the region where probably Jesus was was living or staying or whatnot. And something funny is that we might be going through all this um, disbelief or beliefs, but in the actual sense, we might come up to an agreement that, hey, you know what, we are all brothers at the end of the day, you know. Because if Jesus spoke Aramaic and then... Um, most of the people who are the followers of Jesus or maybe the people who are there in back in those days who spoke the same language and Islam probably began during that period also probably the Bible and whatnot do you understand I mean, we could be just brothers and sisters but we are just here trying to divide ourselves because of just one religion or two religion that is trying to prove a point to each other that is the best religion you know you know what's going to be the best thing in the world Imagine one day you we wake up and we decide that you know what let's just unite and just be one people let's not have the that ego of my religion or that pride that my religion is the best and all those kind of things let's just come together and unite and let's fight the evil the evil is out there as much the evil people are not Christians the evil people are not Muslims the evil people are out there who are satanists understand so at the end of the day, what is it that we are doing to make sure that we fight this satanist out, out there, you know? So we end up fighting ourselves because of some weird debates here and there. These are things that are being brought up by this satanist or evil people who want you divided so that you don't pay attention to what is happening. And that's the same thing that is happening around the world. Look at what is happening. There is war. People are fighting each other. When you look carefully... This war is between two people who probably they can just come and resolve this thing amicably and become one and start fighting the evil one. The one who uh, put up all this war. The, the ones who not put up, the ones who orchestrated, the ones who are funding, the ones who are creating, you know, all this havoc and whatnot. See, so um, my final conclusion is that as much as we want to prove a point to ourselves or to each other, again, we might not know. <laughs> Do you understand? We might not know anything. We are just passerby, we're just passing along. And there's so much out there that we need to figure out. It's just by the grace of God that we need to discern and we need to go within ourselves and try to figure out who we are as people. Because at the end of the day, if you don't know who we are, then who are you to judge the next person? Who are you to judge the next religion? So I think let's just practice what we believe in. Practice what you think or believe that this is the one that's going to take you to heaven. And find peace in that uh, religion that you're in. At the end of the day, I would love for people to come together. I would love for people to, to say, you know what? Yes, we've been fighting for too long. How about let's just come together together? let's just call this thing um, of having debates an end and let's just be brothers and sisters and let's move on simple as that the reason as to why we are divided like this is because they knew from the beginning that when we unite we're going to win this war but because we are divided our focus is not on the main picture our focus is on the surface level things okay so just let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the video let me know what kind of reaction you want me to do also 
and also don't forget to subscribe make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be the first person to watch our videos and the most important thing guys i'm going to see you later and last but not least guys i'm going to see you and do this